Right, somewhat different today. Kind of a how it all began. Oh, we're we doing one of them. Well, we could do that. Yeah, it is all it. your fault. It is. I I invented you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. And I believe you once told my young daughter that you were the reason she existed. Yeah, which, yeah. Which confused her remarkably. It could be. Yeah, because not not only this is brand in a we're cocktail at, bar. Where yeah, I met you, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're at Ebtroco with Bram and Andy. Hello. And things were going to be later, but Bram was you gave me my job. On I I ADR. hired you. You you were uh, you were working at a supplier, and I rang you up to get some rang you up to get some uh, some parts to test. Yeah, and, and you mentioned you were you've been head on to. I was starting NBR magazine, and I yeah. needed somebody to write Do a fitness. fitness column. And you yeah. said, "Oh, I might know somebody." And then you rang me back. And going, no, it's you me. rang. No, you rang oh, me yeah. back. Come on, <laughs> it's you. You were like, "I need someone to write three thousand words by Thursday." I'm stretching. Yeah, about well, about anything. Mm. And it had to get in a red top tabloid as well. That was the prize. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Wrote, you're, uh, yeah. Wrote something about penile numbness and uh, fish that, and chips. Do it. And called it battered cods and cods in batter. Yeah. He remembers. And we got, and we got in the everything mirror. Everything he's ever written. He remembers everything I've ever written, even though it's all it's all gone now. Yeah. Well, I've got I've got the OG bike test in the bag, and it's actually uh, it's actually I think that is definitely the best I wrote. Because had that line, uh, James, James is on a giant, but none of the words he is using is peach. That was a... Uh, because his saddle kept falling I off and the seat pace kept going up his arse. They, they revisited the first few issues of MBR after, when they did their 25-year... 25 25-year... 25 I, I, 25 year I, wrote, I, wrote, I wrote a bit for that and got and paid much less word rate than I did for the original issue. And it, it felt like... <laughs> it felt like they didn't really think they very much of it. And it was very much of its time. I've revisited some of it and think... I think we might have got. We probably should think be cancelled for some of the stuff we did. Yeah, po possibly, but it was of its time. Yeah, I don't think different times is really with with daughter. You know, you have daughters. I have a daughter, uh, and I don't think different times really is a, a suitable excuse. Um, or proximity to the girls from Men and Motors. No, which was pointed out to you by Loaded. No. So, but unfortunately, that is what people remember. It's all right. We, I apologise for for the previous work that we've done. Um, only, <laughs> insert insert, it, insert picture of Smart's K two subscriber got, office with girl with moustache on. Got a bit. Yeah, it, yeah it's, I mean, it's, I, it's okay. I, she's a bloke. <laughs> I uh, think that was issue two of that feature. So anyway, very yeah. much that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't be a dick. We go gone now, haven't we? Last yeah, one. So the last. Time. That was a bookmark. We did don't be a dick bookmark. Yeah. So. Uh, bikes for years, because I, I came on. I said I started writing the finish thing. Yeah. Then you got I bored. Bookmarks. You see that? No, I, I get that's, that's, that's my a book. proper that's yellowed. My, that's my bookmark photo collection. album as well. That's why we did a bookmark. Anyway, right. Go on, bikes. Yeah. You see, you you basically you got me on. I did the fitness piece. Got in the tabloid. You were like, oh, we'll do another thing as well. We did a we did an adventure with Piers Ernu. Yes. Where he was, was posh, the, um, he was posh, and I was you were rough. swampy. Yeah, basically you looked like swampy. swampy. I did. And, and yeah, she's she still. And with Brendan yeah. Bolland, yes, was my partner, and my girlfriend at the time, Ash, yes, had to pretend to be Piers's posh girlfriend. They stayed in the B and B and went clubbing in Harrogate, and you and we lived in a we slept in under a tarpaulin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the second issue. So that was that was And then third issue, you went, I'm bored of doing the bike test. Do you fancy writing the bike test? We're going to West Island Way on a bunch of cheap bikes. I still think that was one of the most amazing things we've ever, I've ever ridden. And and I think actually that led to on one, that bike test, because um I remember having such immense fun. On yeah. my Holford's Apollo. Oh, yeah, on your Holford's Apollo, where you had to stand on the rear wheel yeah, going uh, down there, the, the far side uh, of the double staircase. Into Kinloch Leven yeah. from. Because uh, it was proper snowy as the, well. The uh, devil staircase, climb yeah. up the devil staircase, drop down to Kinloch Leven. Neither, neither brake would work. And I, remember I mean, there were side pulls anyway. Going past you, steel rims, with one foot, one foot on my back tyre yeah, and yeah. one foot on my front tyre, yeah. drifting round this corner. And I, was, I crashed because I was just laughing too hard. And I think. That, that for me, in some ways, was kind of the beginning of the end for me writing for, <laughs> writing for yeah. Matt Maya Maverick. Maverick. <laughs> writing for, uh, we, I, I wrote quite a lot of magazines after that, but very much that sort of obsession over, oh, is that stem better than this one? Or is that, yeah. 
I, I kind of, on one came about because I knew we could do good geometry at a cheap price. Yeah. Uh, with decent tubing. And, uh, and so it's sort of a, a little bit at odds at where you're trying to like ring every like little bit of detail out of it. It was the fundamental. And, and, and the other thing is like how kind of what we do here is about making nice stuff. And people say, how does it compare to this and compare to that? And I, I think a lot of people get confused about bikes because they think bikes have to be measurably better. Yeah, whereas you know different is okay. And it's a thing that a lot of people understand, like football teams or bands. You, you wouldn't say my band is, well, you would say my band is better, but my band that I like, the wedding present are not measurably better than Moin. Moin. Or new model, are they? But they obviously they probably are. are but, they obviously yeah. are better. <laughs> And, and I think that people, people get a lot of, uh, get, get quite confused. You know, people, I think Yeti are a great example. Who, who buys a Yeti? People, people who love Yeti buy yeah, Yeti. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I have absolute um, Yeti fans. My mate Marcus has just found a Yeti dirt job yeah, frame. And, he's as flightless as I am. And, and, and he's like, he continues to be. But he's found a really nice Yeti dirt jump frame and he's excited. Warland said about Preston. Um, yeah, the wine. That it will be, lo it'll be loved by everybody that buys it. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, I put that on the cover of Maximum Mountain Bike as the yeah, best yeah, cross-country yeah. bike ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but, and, but I mean, I was thinking about this driving over because now, I mean, people are best know Joe Hedroco Hedro Hedro for jeans. Terrible, but you can buy yeah. how cheap's the cheapest pair of jeans you can buy in like Primark or Aldi. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it's we, it's, I, on, I, it's I well under a tenner, isn't it? I don't even know. But, but and it's essentially it's doing the same job. It's it's protecting your lower lower body, your legs, from, from and being coldness. blue. Yeah. But we make stuff in Britain uh, out of good cloth, and we pay people properly. We pay you properly. Uh, feed oh, Maverick I well. For the money, though. Yeah. For the lols. Yeah. You definitely feed Maverick properly. And, uh, <laughs> Believe it or not, yes. <laughs> and, and, yeah, we just try and do things right, and we hope there are enough people... Well, we're, we're nearly eight years in now, and there seem to be enough people that like what we're doing and buy stuff. Yeah. So, but I think so you've learned keep going. there's a lot of Hedroco in On One, especially in the marketing side of things. And there's like, a lot of On One in Hedroco. A lot of On One, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, love that. I love that connection with the, with the customer. It's something, it's quite odd, isn't it? Because we, when we started magazines, we didn't have any of that. We would, yeah, we didn't even have a website. No, no, God, no, no. It's, it, we didn't have a website. All, bike. We, all we had, uh, what I really loved doing when I was editor um, was I, they sent me all the posts and I didn't even like them to open it because I like to look at the envelopes, how people have written it, whether they put sellotape off it, read every single letter. I've told you about that. Yeah, well, it's the same here with if anybody that Anybody that puts sellotape over like the flaps of an envelope, they're like a little bit insecure and yeah. need a little bit more help. You can even tell from that far yeah. out yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah, a, yeah, in a letter yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like, what I like, sort of person they're going to be. It's like, it's like building a bike from fresh. Yeah. yeah. If it's coming cardboard, not foam, and it's elastic bands, not zip ties, you're already drawing some conclusions yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. So it's the same with the returns that come here. You get the, some ones that are completely wrapped up in black tape and you go, oh, this, this one's trouble. Yeah, it's it's funny how you just pick up on on those sort of things, and I think that it's it's that sort of stuff that I really like about selling nice things to nice people because yeah. you, you can do that and and ho hoping that they get it, and if they don't, that's fine. And if you don't understand why jeans cost hundred and sixty five quid, that's fine. And if you want to buy jeans from Primark. That's fine. We're doing what we're doing, and, and I hope we're kind of clear about that. Shall I show yeah. you around, anyway? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> right. I'll just check where the other dog is. Oh, he's there. Good luck, Peaky. The great thing about um, Andy is that he used to work in the print industry. He right. used to print... God, we're all relics of the print single, industry. Single track, I think. In, uh, hang on a minute. And Andy, yeah. you didn't print MBR, did you? No. No, not MBR. Only single track. Only single track. Right, he used to print single track. Uh, he got early retirement, and uh, and then he used to just ride the... There's an electric delivery bike company around here called Cargodale. Yeah. He used to ride the delivery bike for that, and they used to pick up from us. Um, and I said, oh, can you come and help us with some packing? So he did. And then he used to be a, a shop steward in the print industry. Right. So I knew he was the right person to help design our warehouse because he would be very litigious. 
<laughs> and make sure that everything was done right. I love how you cover things. So this, so this is like, what I miss. So, so, not so you like often. why you don't have to you don't have to like work out how to do something. You have to find somebody that knows what to do or like well you know. So if that box, it's certainly easier. If yeah. That box was up here, and then it would fall on his head or whatever. So all these are at the right height for packing. Yeah, he's not going to get a back injury. Yeah. It's all that. And this year, I would say. Uh, now we're in here, is the first year that I haven't had a pain in this arm because I used to get a pain in this arm from picking. There was an orange hat that we used to sell lots of in a box right up there yeah. on a shelf. Well, that's like the old chain. When you go to, well, chain reaction, RIP. Uh, when you go there, it's you get a shock at first because the layout seems entirely random and then you work out that it's just the things that people buy most of are nearest to the fast, people that pick it. it. Yeah. We, haven't, we haven't got that. We're all like barcoded now, now, so like, yeah, everything's... Everything's on location, and I can scan that and know how many of those there are in there. Selvage? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, actually, that's not selvage, but the, yeah. That's, I'm trying, you see, I'm trying to pretend I know what I'm talking that's, about that's here. That's selvage. This, this, well, there you are. That's your full width denim, so that's what yeah. most jeans are made out of. Yeah. And that's your selvage denim, which is narrow, and this is the selvage here. Right. That, that is the selvage edge. So what does that mean, then? Come on, let's learn something about jeans. <coughs> what does selvage mean? This is woven on a narrow loom which gives a much more um authentic look tougher um just just handles better higher quality so it's self edge self edged right okay so that's like so that's like the 853 of jeans then doesn't because 853 right. hardens at the edges and yeah. creates yeah, a stronger yeah, yeah. jail yeah, yeah yeah so that's your reynolds 853 jeans Pretty material much. there and so that that's a full width so we we have done jeans in full width which are a little bit cheaper but you know what? When we did cheaper jeans, nobody wanted them. Everybody wanted the expensive yeah. ones. Yeah. So it's like, well, we're carrying new. So we're probably have to make tote bags out of that. <laughs> so, uh, so that's, that's that's the forty-one thirty. This is this is, uh, this is more salvage. This is more salvage. This is more yeah. salvage. So, so wait, where's that coming from? Is that Italian? <laughs> that comes from Italy. Yeah. See, I do watch your socials. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, this has just gone to our new new supplier in London. We had a load more on there. That's from our next production. That's some black that we don't know what to do with. Um, so yeah, it's basically we have factory. Because you started with the Governor jeans. There's a lot. How many different products have you got now? I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of trying to do our plan for next year at the minute. Like how many we've got to do and all that sort of thing. Uh, I kind of I kind of don't know. We're just in a constant state of. I think the thing that we've learned this year is about getting rid of product. So yeah. we've, we've been, we held on to our moleskin jeans for too long and, and sales start doing that. And then it, I said, oh, we need to do, so we've done a new cut. Like these, these are our new corduroys, which are great. And we've got yeah. moleskin coming out in that, but I know they're not going to be here today. They're going to be here next week. So it's just, yeah, in, innovation, like anything, model years, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you can't rely on someone else to come out with new buttons that suddenly makes everyone want to buy the jeans you were already doing or, yeah, or yeah. new belt loops. Yeah, so I yeah, guess that's yeah. the bike, that would be the bike equivalent, but wouldn't you, it? It's like you have, SRAM yeah. would come out with a new zip that we was have, electronic. We have, uh, yeah, different, different cuts, different cloths, and, and just sort of mix that up and, uh, you know, tell people, you, you know, that... Yeah, it is a new thing. We like that. Um, yeah. We've just but changed... communication the way... with the customer is, like, absolutely oh. vital. So that's the thing I really like about customer direct businesses. Um, it's not all about cutting out shop margin. It's the fact that I, I worked in a bike shop when I was 17, 18 uh, in Leeds, and I'd go in there hungover, and I would sell the customer in front of me, whatever we had most of in the back. Yeah. Um, Which is what you're supposed to do. And as a, as a product designer uh, and owning a company, I don't want to have my product in a shop where the sales staff are selling what they've got most of in the back. Because yeah. it's yeah. probably not going to be my Oh, I remember, I remember being bought uh, fish and chips for selling the Townsend Warlord that we'd had for three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of awful orange Easter yeah. bike. yeah. Uh, um, I felt I still feel guilty about that. And I love really. I love that interaction with the customer. Yeah. Being able so I can understand what the customer wants and what their hopes and fears and dreams are. Yeah, well, it's and like, securities. It's, it's and like, then you can make a product better. And a thing that I do, particularly in this business, is is just try and 
Um, if, if we're getting big flare-ups and people don't understand, it's helping them understand stuff better and changing things so things are yeah. easier for them. Well, it's like YouTube. It's like the feedback you get in YouTube on bike reviews and stuff mm. like that is really, really informative. I just haven't bothered with the making it better part. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have, because you said you stopped saying that. Yeah, 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 but that was, yeah. It, it, was, been, it yeah, became it was, a meme. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, and, and actually that was, you know, we, we, when we started, it was all about Hebden Bridge. And um, we got a bit of flack on social media because the Hebden Bridge factory that we started with, um, that had already been sold to be made into flats even when we were there. Uh, and then just for various business reasons, um, the owner there and us sort of fell out. Yeah. Um, and it was at the point where we'd already started making stuff with another factory, which cost us far more, but we needed to... Yeah, that yeah it was, it was almost like calling yourself the all-steel bicycle, you know, the British Steel Bicycle Company, and then suddenly you can't get British Steel or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's, it's a funny thing that we've painted ourselves into by saying everything's going to be made here, even if it's made with Italian cloth. Even our first jeans were made with... Well, hope breaks. You know, they don't make the pads, they don't make the pipes, they yeah. don't make the carbon levers, yeah, but the majority yeah. of it... And some people will kick you about that, but some people can, can go do one. Uh, let's let's keep the swearing off and then we can tease it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm out of one less box on YouTube. You're doing some, very well. Some some people get really oh, well. Why are you not doing everything here? And it's like, well, we can't. But the good thing is, by saying that everything's going to be made here, um, then it, it means that we're not then in a in a sort of race to the bottom, competing against everybody else who's making yeah. stuff at bigger scale overseas, be that yeah. just across the the channel or further away or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's our point of difference. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it seems to be seems to be going all right. Anyway, uh, warehouse two. Warehouse two. <laughs> right. Because this is expanded. Because I haven't been here for a while, but it's proper expanded. Oh, this is this is media central. <laughs> this. I've got Guy Kesterman. Hey up. Oh, Sorry, it? I've got a GoPro. Is that all right? <laughs> Yeah. So this is fit. I was going to say snap because I thought yours is a bit different to one. We've got a better. Yeah, mine's one. badly operated. Yours is probably well operated. Oh, I don't know. I've only just got it. So it's like. Well, I haven't learnt anything since I got mine. It's still the same button I was pressing on. I was like a GoPro 4, I think. Is it a 12? 11. Not that oh, fancy. We got 13. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's Vic. Hello, uh, head of uh, everything that, that uh, front end, web front end, <laughs> illustration, photography, uh, uh, brand management. No, 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 no. Not. <laughs> we haven't got any branding no, guidelines. No, we, no, but we kind of do. do we? Oh, kind of do, well done. Yeah. yeah, it does exist. Don't be a dick. Just uh, that's one of them, surely. So, uh, yeah, Vic, Vic makes everything look great and is a good sort of sounding board. You've, you've achieved the near impossible by almost being an intermediary between <laughs> me and Ed. Seems, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've, I've been, that, I've been in that position briefly on magazines and yeah. I, I feel for you. But, I, don't, um, I, don't, I don't like being the king. Full time, lovely. Yeah, Grand. And my, 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 uh, she does illustration. My desk is carny. This is, uh, this is this is Vic's illustration. <laughs> so I've tried yeah. to make the desk less, less desk. See. Yeah. There's two desks. Like, two desks. Desk. desk is two desks. Let's see. none let's more desks. Cover it in shit and put stuff on the front. <laughs> yeah. This is the equivalent of when I first went to your your house and like all the stuff in the uh, in the loft. Yeah. I'm sure he gave me a cr I think he gave me a Cook's Brothers crank. Sorry, you better do interesting. Uh, this is Ed. Hi, This is Ed. And Amelia. Hello. Hi, Amelia. This is Guy. So I gave Guy his... No, his first. Yeah. Time. I got and Guy. And you found me my wife. Yeah. I got Guy. <laughs> you dressed me up and made me go to the party where I met my wife. That's after we'd stood in a field in, this, in weather like this, all day photographing is, 50 bikes. Do you recruit a good one? Because he's recruited he, us some dodgy people. <laughs> He rang me up at, at three in the morning to say that he'd had four pints and danced with a girl. Right. Yeah. And that is now... Mrs. Um, Kesteven. Mrs. Kesteven. Yeah, the and very long-suffering Mrs. K. Eight children. Was it in the 90s? Uh, yeah. yeah, 97. Well, well, 97, yeah. 98. Yeah. Because it was the first bike of the year we ever did, which came after we got...
passed on the delayed train in near Peterborough. And you were like, let's get all the bikes in and see which is best. We were in 50, 50, 50? 50, yeah. 50 bikes. And uh, we had a squad of people and we, we sort of all went out and did a photo shoot and they came back. And I left them all outside we all McDonald's. To, we went to McDonald's for lunch. Yeah, <laughs> and left 20 bikes. There wasn't 50 bikes now you could buy. They all gone tits up and then. Like yeah, bike yeah something like that. Carnage. I remember yeah. leaving them all outside McDonald's. There was a there was a fat chance Yo Eddie tie, I think was the most expensive. With no lock? Yeah, no lock at all. No we lock. just went for critical mass on it. Yeah. That's great. And then my dad helped us stand them all up in a field. And they all... And, uh, and the Univega 971. And Jason from Univega wasn't that impressed, so he nearly changed it. He, did, he didn't sound that excited. The URT with an RST fork and V brakes. Yeah. yeah. Long time ago. Anyway, so this is Ed. This we is Amelia. Hello. Uh, Amelia is our product development product development manager. Manager. Oh, right, right. That's yeah. a good word. <laughs> You've been that's promoted good. now. Yeah, yeah. That's good news. Congratulations. <laughs> Amelia is designer and uh, also works with uh, factories, with suppliers and factories. So that's that's what production. That's what's coming. Apparently, you can't Quickly. show them that. That's can't all right. Show that. <laughs> Some of it's delayed already. Could be worse. You could be waiting for bike bits for it. You could be waiting for a left-hand Shimano shifter. How, what is it like out there? Utterly random. Utterly random. Yeah, I mean, some things, yeah, I mean, I can't really tell you rumours on film. But, oh, right. Yeah, well, I mean. You cut this bit, but yeah. just keep got running. <laughs> What's this? Our <laughs> post just thing. arrived and we're getting excited. Look at that. This is the um, the only book that I've written that like. I didn't have a copy of. No, it works. So I found it, I found it on <laughs> eBay. Wow, it's in mint condition. How old are you? Uh, Pictures of brand. From the 90s. What, what, what year is it done? 93. 93, so I'll be tw oh, tw 23. Oh, people keep doing that. People keep doing that to me as well. Forward by David Baker. Hey, oh, oh prestige that. that is. Shall I go and get the first three copies of MBR? For a laugh. I'll go and grab them, hang on. We're in Brant's office now, so we don't have to worry about the music in the background. So that's one, isn't it? I remember it came one. with a video. We spent a lot of time on, on one. Oh, the you went uh, to Greece. The fantastic. No, that's Morocco. We went to Morocco. Oh right, yeah. With John, um, who we pretend. I don't think he did work for Orange at the time. Oh, Channels. Channels. That's, yeah, that's John Channels. Uh, no, good, good issue. Uh, Free VHS video. Rider with no helmet, but bar ends. A, a VHS issue. Joe Guest. I mean, is, this is not. It's not great, is it? <laughs> It's not great. But but these are the days of like, uh, oh, who was it? Well, used have, what, Parrot used to do coloured tyre adverts with just women in bikinis, weren't they? And Mazzocchi girls. It's, it's that era, isn't it? Not oh, a, Orange URT there, Craigie looking young. I wonder if Tim Gold's puncture, if anybody in puncture here museum has a, has a web address. I wonder if there's anybody no. that... No, because I remember, don't you remember, Bike Magic came to us when we were on Maximum Mountain Bike in 90, end of 99. Mm -hmm. And asked if we could put their URL on our cover. Oh, look, and I had no idea what it is. Tony Doyle, there, email 106 207 dot 35 at compuserve.com. That's, 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 that's quite progressive. Oh, no, that's here, very... look, Madison Cycles, ourworld.compuserve.com forward slash homepages forward slash Madison Cycles. I'm really surprised by that. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. We didn't, I don't think, maybe did we have an email address? Oh, oh. shit, hang on, I'll turn the light off, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that, was the, bike, that was the bike of the future, wasn't it? The uh, a Trek Y bike with pace forks, a 150 mil X light stem, yeah. and a Fox Alps shock on it. 36. I, I kind of. What's I'm, really funny? I look. I flicked through some of these. Come over. Base layers haven't changed at all. That's Tom Lock. Have they gone to um, Tom Lock riding in? They've gone from synthetic to merino, so you. Can well, no, there was some. Mer there was some merino, merino then. Interesting bike. Yeah. Quite mm. quite wrong. Oh, them caramba cranks. Yeah, Probably double still barrel. Got, still got them in my shed somewhere. Right, so that was issue, did that come with issue one as well? Uh, no, that thing that came with issue two, because that was one I actually got enough on my... Pot, pot mash. Bloody hell, maybe, maybe, no, I we... won't be a, maybe I won't be an archaeologist. Well, no, I was trying to train as a physiotherapist. Oh, you had to do this whole thing, didn't you? Yeah, probably. Quite, quite a lot of white space in here and not in a good way. Yeah, early emoji. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Wait, what was great was we had access 
because we were with MBR, we had access to a really good picture library. Yeah, and that's so we one just of the went... things that made the magazine look really different was that we had we had this uh, thing, a, a database. And this in was the, the time. This is the heyday of loaded. Who were on the same floor, so everything was about captions <clears throat> and really, really short copy. And... Mm -hmm. Right, issue one. It's all right. Issue, yeah. is that issue two? That was issue two where I went off with Piers Hernu right. and like camped in the wild. I don't. I don't remember a great deal That's about it. this that because was it I, there. I think I recklessly actually when this magazine was launched, I think I was in Alaska riding a ditta bike. Yeah, and so uh, I immediately deferred. Everything. And Vince, Vince's second hand bit at the back, which I think is brilliant. I think people, that was absolutely awesome. Second hand, and that's when people won't know this these days. Well, but second hand bikes used to be cheaper than new ones. Yeah, a little bit of uh, <laughs> crazy, little bit of crazy times. There. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that's the Robin Hood themed bike test. And so I, I went, I went to Alaska and and left the magazine in the incredibly capable hands of the wonderful James Beechnor Collins. Yeah, and uh, Keith, um, Keith Simpson, Keith Simpson, and that's that. Keith's New brother, Orange X Two. Who were U R T? I mean, I think it was such a brilliant magazine because because Keith had such a passion. Keith was the one of the most flamboyantly yeah. dressed downhillers, yeah. and it had a real sense of style. Yeah. And, um, Do you remember when he got really upset when he injured himself? And we take this is a definitely a, a thing we'd get cancelled for now. You take two spinningy wheels to his office chair. Okay. <laughs> that the right strength? Yeah, that's that's spot on, mate. Thank you. The beast of Bodmin. I, yeah. So this was a, a thing we did where, and I, I like it. it. It was. I think we probably copied it off Top Gear. I don't. Yeah, it was try, yeah, yeah, but, but it's it trying was to like, make ride guides more. There you go. That's your yeah, Idaita bike. There we are, yeah. That's you riding Idaita bike, and you trained for that. In the freezer in Bingley, I, I, didn't you? I, I went to uh, Iceland Frozen Foods in uh, Queens Ferry. Yeah, and you, but you had custom paste forks. Custom. So I got those yeah. custom wide spacing cape paste forks. Yeah. So I got them off you. Yeah. You gave me those for my white for my paste single spring. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, and I put a lockout lever on top of them, which really confused John form, White. An entry form for a race that you have to fill in and send a yeah. check. And stamped addressed envelope. Yeah, but Nembers, Nembers were brilliant. Cause you used to DJ the Nembers, didn't you? They had a 1990s um, uh, playlist. Is that what they call them? On Lauren yeah. Laverne this morning. And I was like, yeah, got that. Got that on vinyl. Got that on vinyl. Yeah. On I always vinyl. remember you being dead chuffed that you paid. Oh, that's the new marketing newsletter I was writing at the time. Xyrology. Oh, right. With Uncle Tufty's marketing message. Because I still had a bit of my Mohican left mm. for that pop proper. Yeah. So that's what I was doing. Who did the illustrations? I did. Did you? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. You should do more of those. I they're, don't think my skills have moved on at all. They're great. Yeah. I didn't know you could do. Yeah. How would you do? What did you do that electronically? Yeah. That's really Uncle, good. Uncle Tufty's marketing that's message. Right. No, no yeah, idea. Do that. Genuinely, I'd... yeah. <laughs> suits you, sir. It was all absolute rubbish. Like so that. yeah, I still, you know, we're we're um, well, yeah. But you paid. What was it? Monaco, and mm -hmm. something else. As the first two songs. Oh yeah, I used to lie away. And that was the worry. first two that Mark and Lyle played. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember testing that opposite the Orange Six to Eight. Uh, Local uh, to here, it was in Todd. Again, that I don't think there's there's two companies that like were incredible for their time. Pace and Orange. Like, yeah. And Orange are still making stuff in Britain. Yeah. Um, you I know, think probably, Pace probably would if they could. Eight or nine miles from here, but. But it, even when you look at what Pace did, Pace was, I don't think we understood, having, sorry, having now worked in British manufacturing, I don't think pe we as journalists or the buying public ever gave Pace the respect that they deserved because yeah. they were making frames and forks and hubs and chain rings and clothing and handlebars. And some carbon fiber stuff as well, yeah. All that, they were making all that in Britain and they were employing people and they were sponsoring a race team. And I, I, Chris Ackrick, still going? Yeah. I, I, I'm almost quite embarrassed that we, we didn't like really drill into what they did there. I, I genu yeah, well, I think I'm genuinely time. upset about, uh, about how Adrian Cathy absolutely smashed that out. And I don't but think they got the, re I would like to say, sorry and, Thank you for 
all the support and everything you've ever done for us because it, yeah. I think what Amen. they did I brought- amazing. And I love that, that that family still have a brilliant business making brilliant products. Yeah, because they've got a new... They've got a Those new... girls, they're quite big now. I yeah. always remember them being little yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, Sophie and Ed. Well, they've got daughters themselves who were <laughs> really? the same age. Yeah. Goodness me, right. Yeah, yeah, they've got... They've, uh, Sophie's got twins who were about the same age as when I first remember meeting them. I think it's... it's. I think we had a real... Yeah. I mean, we've still well, got a real gem, but they had clothing ranges. I've still got a, a winter pair active. of Pace... Oh, that winter active. I've got a pair of the Pace winter tights. Yeah. With the double knee yeah. made in Britain that I still... They are my go-to. Well, it's I remember really you cold. had a custom-made winter active for that Alaskan trip. And, uh, yeah. I'd kill for a winter active still. And I stored it in a black plastic bin bag and it got confused with another black plastic bin bag and it went to the tip and I haven't got no. it anymore. And so never store anything in black plastic bin no, bags. No, no. To be fair, I lost a lot of my back issues. Because I, when I moved workshops, uh, there was a keep it pile and a throw it away pile, yeah. and no, yeah, I had one of I had one of every magazine I'd done, and then they all went. But yeah, this is this is it. This is the my first bike test. God, I look young there. Goodness me, yeah. I don't. Goodness <laughs> me, no, you don't. I you? still look. A... So that was it. No, it was a, a really, really, really yeah. great couple of days. But we uh, had yeah. No, hang on, like, hang on. I'm going to flag this one up because that's quite a good line there. Yeah, the bikes leant against mm. the wall and shot, while Death Rust is expected to take a little longer. And like I say, I, th- I really do think we peaked with that one. American Eagle with blue tyres. And that's that's your yeah, infamous yeah, yeah. Apollo. Which presumably... Which bought. It, I did, yeah. yeah. It, it's presumably still in a garage somewhere near... Uh, Fort Bill. Fort William, yeah. Yeah, because I, again, linking up to the uh, meeting Sarah thing, I bought a pair of knockoff snowball boots from the shop we left the bikes in. And, I, and you right. made, and you they were part of the outfit that you put me in for that uh, wedding reception where I met Sarah. That's right. That a Respro Silver Reflective Cycling Top, a tailcoat, and le- leather lace-up <laughs> jeans, which I used to wear dancing, and snowball boots. It, it was just... It was a curious time. It was a... Uh, yeah, I think... I Yeah, I really missed that. I don't... I, I, yeah, I, I don't think I've done anything... No, I must have done something more fun than that. But there was a real... A, a, right, was a, a right laugh, and then yeah, maybe, maybe it proved you didn't need a sun attack. Yeah, you see, that's classic. That's <laughs> so train spotting. Because that's that's train spotting. Yeah, when yeah, first yeah. Came out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Malcolm, uh, Malcolm Fearon. Yeah, the yeah. scooting scouser. Because he had a scooter. I remember there was only one turning on the road on the entire trip, and he got lost. Yeah. I think that's in there as well. But so yeah, it, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah. But I think going back to the orange and light pace thing, I think they were so much the heart of the industry, and then suddenly they kind of weren't. Mm. And I think, yeah, but it's because of like, but cheeky, there were cheeky monkeys mon- like me going, oh, I know, I'll go to Taiwan and buy a load of cheap yeah. frames from, yeah. from Maxway, and um, yeah, I guess yeah, that. But they were team, they were team show. animal. They were, yeah. you know, Greg Minar was on an orange. Petey yeah. was on an orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, then that's suddenly, a, it, I mean, that's a tiny little place in Halifax. It's Steve Wade and, and then the new Leicester, two old windsurfers. Yesterday, they're, they're canning their uh, race team. Yeah, that's been that's been shelled because of. Uh, the, you know the the carnage in the industry. You know, even even though that's been brought about by, um, well, one of the things that brought people it, going off to Taiwan and buying bikes out there and they're not paying for it. What's been brought them. about by Pe- people bought too much and then they've got too much stock. Um, you know, and chain reaction and wiggle. You know, I'm I'm not really sure what's happening there, but, but there's always been someone like chain reaction and wiggle. But chain it reaction, used to be the guys like, in the back doing mail order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, ch- Southwest ch- spares ch- or ch- chain reaction. You know, was was just was Chris and Michael. You know, buying buying loads of stock and um, and and just cracking on with it. Uh, I think you know the 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 move of of like venture capital and those investors yeah. coming in. Um, be careful what you wish for. It's like racing. At about wow. the same time, all that money got invested on you know, Volvo, Cannondale, mm. and Ford, and Seven Up, and Toyota, and it killed it, knackered it. Yeah, yeah. Every because no, everybody when the, when the money comes. Yeah, you know, everybody you know suddenly have big expectations of money and making a fortune. See, there's not much money in Hebtro Co. We, but we're doing, you know, we're doing all right. We haven't got any outside investors because if we had an investor, we knew they would. We know, sorry, they would try and tell me and Ed what to do, and that would not be good. Yeah, we, we, Vol- we don't Vol- want to do that. I always remember Hope telling me when Rock Shocks tried to buy their break off them, they're going, We don't hold with them vulture capitalists. <laughs> Which I thought was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like proper phrases, that yeah. vulture capitalists. It, it's, a, it's a strange thing, and, and just, 
yeah, for, for sustainable business, you know, it, it gets talked a lot about, um, oh, we're a sustainable, and it doesn't just mean that... It's sitting you, on a... What is that? What's that tub? This is a, a key keg. Uh, oh, right. So, that, so your craft beer comes in these. Ah, yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Strength stuff, and then we put a bit of wood on the top. A sustainable business isn't just about recycling and, and using things. It's about making enough money to pay people properly, to sell things at the right price, and and to crack on. And that's the thing we you know we're, we're doing here um, is that you know the business we're doing all right, um, but it means well, you that can invest in state of the art. Computer State of the art computers, technology like that. <laughs> <laughs> Very, my, I had a mate, my mate who had one of those at school. I've got a disk drive on here as well. So no, yeah. I, <laughs> my mate who works, who I, who used to have the, he was the only guy I knew who had a BBC Micro at school, but he also made his own computers. Was his dad a teacher? Is that why he had a BBC yeah. Micro? But, yeah. yeah, but he now works at the uh, Hadron Collider. Wow. In Sloan. Yeah, my mate Legsy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, floppy disk there. That's how I used to send down the copy to MBR. Really? Yeah, I used to get a three three and a half inch floppy yeah, disk yeah, yeah. in a in a special jiffy bag from yeah. the from the de and then buy some cheese from the deli on the way back as a the, celebration. Yeah, uh, I would send uh, what would I post a double spaced uh, printed copy from my Amstrad PCW eight two five six. A green screen. Yeah, I had uh, a Mac Classic. Thing. I upgraded to a Mac Classic after I couldn't use my girlfriend's mum's typewriter and anymore. Then, then I had a fax machine, and yeah. Uh, then yeah, then I remember getting email, which was um, yeah quite a breakthrough. And then it, maybe maybe it was the internet. That yeah, Mike Bonny told maybe me that's where everything went wrong. Yeah, I remember Mike Bonny telling me about the internet. <laughs> yeah, um, we were on kicks. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and get me to buy a get me to buy a, a very early iPod because you said I could. Put he it was through. good as well. Oh, he was awesome. He yeah. was good because was, you know again good. you know he understood and and did so much work with Orange. You know that that's who got all that global team together. Yeah, into, yeah, yeah. Oh, he and, was and stuff like that. Yeah. No, I mean grump, but uh, oh, fabulously. Yeah, he'd but, always you know, come off feeling like you'd lost. Yeah, but. No. In a really, generally, because he'd been smarter than you. Ah, oh, well, I haven't, haven't seen him for a bit. haven't seen Jason McCroy for a bit. No. It's, uh, but, you know. Yeah, pitch. It doesn't, pitch. Mean, doesn't mean we do Yeah, pitch. It doesn't mean we don't think about them. No. Um, so, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway. So what's anyway. next? What's next to Heb Trucker? Anyway, come on, let's, let's, uh, let's upbeat it a bit. Um, we're going to carry on making good things. We are... When's this going out? <laughs> <laughs> when do you need it to go out? We, uh, where you can, you, you can cut, you can come back. I'm going to say something now. We're going to cut it out and then you can come back to this when we've done it. Yeah. Right. We have to turn, turn the camera off because things got, well, yeah, you, we can't you're telling me stuff that you can't. And then we got, as yeah. is, as is always a little, the way, little bit political, a little bit, bit political, but anyway. there's, there's a little teaser of something we've recorded there that hopefully you can show them in a bit. Yeah. If that thing happens. Yeah. Grant, Grant. Literally. No, nice one. Thanks okay. for everything. Love you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because what, uh, what was that phrase you coined? I remember, you, I remember coming cool. down Nantmar Quarry, downhill, and you shouting over the loudspeaker. I was on a mountain bike. I was on mountain bike tandem, on my own, because Ash had got glandular <laughs> fever. And you went, there he goes. Guy Kesterman treading the fine line between genius <laughs> and... <laughs> and I think that was a little kind. Oh yeah, no, you because you, you need to cut it there, don't you? Genius and droop. That's it. Yeah, you can. That's what we do. Yeah, mate. Guy Kesterman treading the fine line between genius and. <laughs> <laughs>